Hey guys, today I want to talk about three of my favorite ARs. So starting off with this one, this is a Springfield Saint uh, AR that I bought maybe two years ago. I did a few upgrades to it. I added a Centurion Arms handguard on it. It's an M-Lock handguard. Up here you see a Steiner Otal C, stands for Offset Tactical Aiming Laser. Um, I hooked it up with the Surefire dual pads here. And then over here, I have a Surefire um, Scout Light, the M600 Dual Fuel. It takes two, two CR123A batteries and one 18650. So laser and then light. Up here, I added the Bravo Company Manufacturing Mod Zero Compensator. Down here, we have a Magpul Vertical Grip. Here we have an Aimpoint Patrol Rifle Optic, or the Aimpoint Pro. I added a War... What is it? Warhammer Breek Arms uh, charging handle. It's ambidextrous. I have a Bravo Company ambidextrous safety selector as well. And a Magpul bad lever. One thing I did change on the inside is uh, I added a uh, Nickel Boron bullet carrier group too. So, yep, overall, really nice gun. We're going to shoot all these in a little bit. My second favorite AR. Is this guy right here I built. So I have a 16 inch mid length handguard on it. Uh, it's a medium contour barrel. I have a Mod Light OKW on it and a Surefire pressure pad. I have a compensator as well. Midwest Industries uh, M Lock handguard, 12.63 inches. One of my favorite red dots I have on it is the Hollow Sun HS503C or HS503GU and paired with a hollow sun magnifier. I also have a ambidextrous charging handle on it from Bravo Company. I have a Geisley SSAE trigger in there as well and a... I forget what the safety is. It's an ambidextrous safety though. And a nickel boron bolt. The stock here I have a Veltor... I think iMod stock or EMod. Yep, we're going to shoot that too in a little bit. <clears throat> so that was my build. This is another build I did. It has a DS Arms uh, 16 and a quarter inch barrel. Heavy barrel, stainless steel. And I have a Fortis Rev 2 M-Lock handguard on it. Surefire M600 Scout. Pressure pad. A full birdcage uh, compensator or flash hider on there. And it is a rifle length gas system on a 16 inch barrel. Got that A-frame front sight poster. I also have a Strike or Vortex Strike Eagle 1 to 6 on there. It's actually pretty nice for about $300. It's mounted on the American Defense uh, mount on there. I have a Radian ambidextrous charging handle, nickel boron bolt carrier group, and a Rock River Arms two-stage varmint trigger. It's a three and a half pound trigger. So this lower is an arrow precision. This upper is also an arrow, arrow precision. This is the ambidextrous lower with this modified bolt catch bolt release there. Back here I have a Magpul STR stock, a Magpul MOE grip. She shoots pretty nice too, so let's go ahead and shoot. I want to plug your ears a little bit. <clears throat> So this is the Springfield Saint. Try to hit some steel out there. All right, let's move on to the second gun. And the last gun, the heavy, the heavy barrel dissipator AR.
right, guys, if you like the video, uh, leave a like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.